Hey everybody, T-Man again, bringing you guys another video, and this one will be doing another non-wrestling related video, and I shot a lot of them though, this is my seventh video I'm shooting today, I don't know if I'm going to be releasing them all today, but I shot a lot of videos for you fuckers. This one, as you can see in the title, will be doing a breakdown on some of the titles being released this summer from uh, Marvel um, on their Secret Wars uh, the next big event and it's kind of going to be a launching of a lot of new titles to bring a lot of people back in the comic books or people that haven't been back in the comic books um, lately uh, the last couple of years we've been in the Marvel Now which Marvel Now has been really notorious of having number one issues after a couple of years redoing them back to number one not really a big reboot like the new 52 the new 52 was more of a hardcore uh, reboot um, but uh, the only thing I really read from DC is Batman, but I, I've been t tiptoeing in different things. I just got the trade paperback of the new 52 Flash uh, Volume 1 because I got into the TV show and I got into the character. So I'm starting to uh, dive in a little bit more into DC, but I've always been a Marvel guy for sure. And uh, this, uh, Mar uh, for those of you who don't know what Secret Wars is, it's uh, uh, this is the first event that I'm really looking forward to in a long, long time. Every summer, Marvel has the big summer events, and this one's going to be about all the planets, uh, all the u un all the different universes of Marvel, all of them uh, colliding in the one and becoming battleground, and then at the end, we're going to have an all-new uh, Marvel landscape are going to be rebooting a lot of stories a lot of stories are going away a lot of new ones coming up a lot of different uh eras mix mashing like all the different eras of marvel all the different planets all the ultimates are going away everything is all becoming one uh called battle world and i'm very excited this is the first time in a long time i've been excited about a marvel event but i'm more uh, than the event itself i think this is the first time that i'm more excited for all the side titles and that's what this video is going to be about it's gonna be about uh, you know every couple months Marvel releases the previews, or previewing all the uh, different titles coming up, and this book is for uh, April for June 2015. So April, and these are for the June titles coming out. Uh, this book is all ripped to shred in pieces because my son got to it and ripped it apart. Usually he does not touch my comic books at all. Uh, but I left it on the couch so it was free play and I gotta make sure I don't leave things on the couch and luckily it was just a preview book and not an actual issue or something. So let's get into some of the titles that are coming out and my opinions on them. Right away this is one page that my son ripped out but it's a cool picture so I'm gonna talk about it right off the bat. So the picture is this. For you 90s kids this is gonna be the book you want to pick up right here. X-Men 92. Look at that, and it's the same artwork and stuff that you loved from a from from when you were a kid. Boom, bitch is X Men ninety two. If uh, if you're a fan of that style of comic books in the nineties, and especially the fan of the uh, of the animated series from the nineties, which was probably one of the best animated uh, uh, cartoons ever um, for two superheroes, uh, was X Men. Uh, uh, what was the X Men series? Awesome. It's great that that that, that we'll be able to relive this again and, and uh, um in comic book form. I don't know if it's going to be a title that's going to be out all the time, but I am definitely looking forward to that right off the bat. That's going to be awesome. Another book that's coming out is uh, an event, uh, it, uh, like all past events, like big uh, title events, as you're going to see, like Civil War and different type of Planet Hulk and those different things. They're coming back, and they're going to be because all the different eras are all colliding in the one here, and. Um, we're going to get to see a new story on those time periods. And another one is the Armor Wars from all the different Iron Man tech. So that's another title that's coming out. And how about this one for you Spider-Man fans? And I am actually uh, um, um, subscribed to, Car uh, to that comic book to Amazing Spider-Man is this. You get to see, finally, Peter Parker back with Mary Jane. And only this time the daughter and if you remember you know um 
Peter Parker does have a daughter in different uh, storylines of uh, um, Spider-Man. Um, most importantly, uh, back when he was married to Mary Jane um, the first time before uh, um, Brand New Day and all that, a uh, new day or whatever, when he went back, took back the marriage to save uh, Mary Jane, uh, not Mary Jane, uh, uh Aunt May, uh, following the events from Civil War, uh, you had uh, Peter Parker making the deal or whatever to sacrifice his marriage, which made no sense, um, to save the life of Aunt May. And one of the reasons for that was, uh, and I remembered one of the parts of that issue, I forgot what story arc that was, was you got to see uh, Spider-Man's daughter didn't know uh, it was the daughter that they would never have or whatever because... Um, he would be sacrificing the marriage and sacrificing the child that they would have and it seems like we're going to see that child after all here she is right there so really awesome really cool another event right here that, that, that we're going to see that uh i never was a fan of marvel zombies but you have this age of ultron versus marvel zombies <laughs> I'm into that just I'm gonna pick up the first issue just to see what the hell that book's gonna be about what the hell are we gonna get there another uh, uh, um, quick little poster I'm gonna show you here a battle world is the Thor so look at that all the different Thors all the different incarnations of Thor we're gonna see here we got uh, up this Thor right here the woman Thor we got all the ultimate Thor regular Thor all the different Thors and how cool is this I don't remember this type of Thor ever um, maybe it was a, a time period um, I didn't read, but the destroyer here, you know, the the, the, the protector of Asgard, the, the destroyer, apparently held the hammer of Thor at one point. So uh, that's pretty interesting. And let's go through the book and show you some other titles. There's a lot of different titles. I'm not going to get into all of them, but it's just some of the ones that I'm really interested in. Uh, again, here's another one of the Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies. <laughs> I'm really going to pick up that first uh, issue just to see what we're dealing with there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, yeah, they, they, then we're getting Marvel Zombies number one. We're getting a regular Marvel Zombies book uh, coming out in June. That's uh, going to be the number one issue coming out in June. So you guys be aware of that. We got, how about that, Star-Lord and Katie Pride, uh, a friend of mine, you, uh, if he's watching this, you know who you are, got me in the Star-Lord, I got into the character, and it looks like we're going to get a title with him and Katie Pride. This is going to be the first issue coming out in June, all by the same writer that's been writing the current uh, uh, Star-Lord, Sam Humphrey. so that, that should be really cool, really looking forward to that, that should be a fun little book. And humans, masters of kung fu, sixteen oh two witch hunter, Angela, uh, Thor sister. That should be interesting. Amazing Spider Man. Renew your vows and look at that. Look at this page right here. This is going to be um, issues number one and two of the Renew Your Vows. And look at this Venom. It looks like we're not going to see Agent Venom. We might see one of the old incarnations of Venom. It's hard to tell if that was the Scorpion Venom uh, or the Eddie Brock Venom. It should be really cool. It'll be cool if we see all the Venoms at once. Uh, all the time periods going together. We got A Force. Issue number two comes out because issue number one probably comes out in May. And that's an all females Avenger team. Oh, let me see. We got giant size little Marvel AVX. So I don't, I'm not a fan of that type of shit. But uh, let me see. We got Weird World number one by Jason Aaron. Oh, I got somebody at the door here. Hang on. Sorry about that. Uh, that was very unprofessional on me. Uh, 
had someone knocking at the door. I'm not used to people knocking on the door. I don't answer the door. I hate being interrupted by people. No offense, but never knock on my door. I don't have a pause button here or I would have paused it. I could only stop it and I don't want to relaunch the whole fucking video. So sorry for that intermission. We got 1872 book coming out right here. And this is about, it's very weird, um, it's Steve Rogers, Tony Stark, like a timeline all, and Bruce Banner, the timeline's all screwed up, and they go back to 1872, back in the Old West, so very weird about that. Talked about Armor Wars, issue 1 and 2, both come out in June, so looking forward to that. X, like I said earlier, X-Men 92, boom, you get a little bit more sample of the artwork, cannot wait for that book. Then you got Futures Imperfect with the Hulk issues number one and two both come out. And then how about this one? Years of Future Past issue one and two. Here's the picture right here of the book. Um, futures, uh, not yeah, uh, Years of Future Past. Uh, kind of like a Days of Future Past, but it is Years of Future Past, not Days of Future Past. So should be pretty interesting there. Mrs. Deadpool and the Howling Commandos. Should be interesting right here. Um, let me see some other. Oh, here's a book I'm really looking forward to. If you guys haven't read Old Man Logan, it's a great novel. I um, it's a little mini series. I really suggest you guys uh, read that. Really cool. You get issue number two coming out in June, so that means the first issue must be coming out in May. That's Old Man Logan's coming back right here, and I love the writer. Uh, my One of my favorite comic book writers is Brian Michael Bendis, and Brian Michael Bendis is going to be writing Old Man Logan. So one of my all-time favorite stories getting written by one of my favorite comic book writers. Um, Old Man Logan, I mean, even though he does Ultimate Spy Spider Man, which I've never been a fan of, but I loved his Avengers run, his new Avengers run. Um, I, I'm currently liking his um, X-Men run. has been really good. Uh, he's written a lot of the big Marvel events. And I've always been a fan of his writing. So I really want to see what he's going to do with Old Man Logan. Uh, let me see... Guardians of Nowhere. Oh, wow, also by Brian Michael Bendis. I might pick up that one. I know he's been doing Guardians of the Galaxy. I want to get try to get pick, uh, a caught back up on that on uh, paperback or hardcover on the trades. Um, because, like I said, um, Guardians are really cool. And I like uh, Brian Michael Bendis. Uh, uh, here we go. The Infinity Gauntlet is coming back. We're going to be getting a new story being told here on Battle Rule on the Infinity Gauntlet. Definitely going to pick that up. We got Secret Wars 2099. Let me see. Uh, we got a new Planet Hulk by Sam Humphreys. Big fan of his writing. This will be issue two. So that means the first issue is going to be coming out in May. Let me see. Da -da, Princess Leia. Some of these are just issues that are coming out. Howard the Duck, number four. Big Thunder Railroad, for number four or five, comes out in June. Uh, about the Disneyland ride. That's pretty interesting. Um, I think that's all for the new ones. We're going to be getting Spider Gwen, number five, in June. Do, 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 do. And I think that's about it. Oh, and here, those of you that just saw my Thor review, I just did a Thor. Um, of Marvel Select review. We're going to be getting the Age of Ultron movie Thor coming out right here. So I'm definitely going to be picking that up. And that's pretty much it. You know, so I can't wait for those books coming out. This is just a fun video letting you guys know. Uh, those, those, those of you comic fans, some of the new books of the new event of um, Secret Wars coming out. And all the new titles that's going to be coming out from the past. That um, relive different moments that you like. Um, in an all new story. So if you like uh, a civil war or any of those, all those, even though it's not in there, all those stories are gonna we're gonna get new stories of all that and all all the different time streams. Everything's gonna be coming together, kind of what they're doing in DC that started now. Convergence. Never been a DC fan of. I might pick up Convergence to compare the two. It seems like DC and Marvel might be going down the same route, kind of. I don't know. Those of you who knows a little bit more about DC, um, I know a little bit more about Convergence. I think. It's all the time streams coming together in the storyline. Uh, those of you who knows more can leave your comments or, or educate me a little bit more on convergence. Not too fan much. Uh, I don't know too much, but I'm interested. In, so I, I, I don't know too much about DC. But th th those of you who know, 
feel free to leave the comments down there please subscribe check out my other videos and yes i am the expert of professional wrestling so there's a lot a lot a lot of wrestling content on this channel because this is what i focus with so anyways until the next video take care guys